the new YouTube is Man Always George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bobby Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, this is one of my comparisons, and this is one I call Flex and Sex Appeal. As you know, um, I recognize the beauty, the uh, looks, the style of women in sport of bodybuilding. You know, particularly, there are some women who are just amazingly attractive. You know, you don't think of it because everybody looks at the muscle, but they don't look at overall the woman as she is. You know, her look, her style, the way she walks, how she moves. You know, women, no matter what form they are, are beautiful creatures and amazing creatures. So anyway, I picked two ladies. I'm going to a little bit throwback. I've done a couple of videos about these ladies, but they both have one name in common, and that is Debbie. But their um, names are spelled differently. We have here one Miss Debbie Nanitsky. It's Debbie with uh, uh, one B and I, you know, and you, you recognize her. And also we have one Miss, or actually Mrs., uh, Debbie Vermeil Washington. But I just went Debbie Vermeil. That's why a lot of guys were murdered on from. Now, both of these have been competing, and, you know, around about the um, good part of the 90s up to the 2000s. And they have been physique exclusive for a good long time. You know, back in the day, it was that many divisions for women bodybuilding. But, you know, physique was the division. And both amazing women. They're very attractive. Great looks to them. Great style to them. And this thing about this, they both debuted in 2007 in one show. And, you know, with, with, um, you know, it's just, the thing is, that's what the thing, it's just, it's so amazing how some times these ladies have so much common. And, you know, um, these are um, just awestruck women. I think, you know, I've always been a fan of Debbie Vermeil. I like to look, her, you know, her, her hair, her, um, her style. And also, Debbie Lenisky, I think I, she had a great look to her and style too about her too. But they're just both amazing women. So I'm going to, when I, when I start doing this other thing, I'm going to say Mrs. Le Mrs. Uh, Vermeil and Miss Leninsky, so you can tell which Debbie I'm talking about. So anyway, now this was a show they both um, debuted at. And this was the Atlantic City Pro at 2007, and they were competing in weight classes. Um, you know, uh, Miss Leninsky was competing as a heavyweight, while Mrs. Vermeil was competing as a lightweight. And even you know, I'm telling you, I mean, you know, I just. Both these ladies, I mean, you wouldn't think they were two classes. You think they were the same class. You know, both, you know, maybe middleweight, heavyweight, lightweight, whichever, but they are both amazing. I mean, you know, great physiques, great lines. I mean, just, just some both amazing women. I mean, this is, I love the bicep. Everybody loves the bicep pick. That's why I picked it, because it's a great pick. Here we have the front lat. Um, this is kind of a real close one. But if I give it to anybody, I have to give it to Miss Leniski. You know, we can see how well her her tri traps are, you know, her shoulders, you know, her, she has a good amount of size on her. I mean, for, especially she wasn't that tall of a lady. I mean, I'm telling you, some people could pack on a lot of muscle. Here we have the front double. And if I give it to anybody, um, it's a close one here again. I have to give it to Mrs. Bermel. I think Mrs. Bermel, she has amazing definition, good size. She has more of a peak compared to Miss Vernitsky. Here we have the side chest. And like I said, uh, overall, hmm, this is this is really a close one. This is truthfully a close one. But mm, in my head, I might give this one here to Mrs. Burmell. I think Miss Burmell has a great definition. Look at her, the, her, her, her pecs, just amazing. I mean, you know, She's she had a great physique. She I mean I'm telling you she's just just one of those classic lines. Here we have is the um, rear lap, and from the back, I mean I'm telling you this is a really kind of close one. But if you look at the detail and development, I have to give this one to Mrs. Nalinsky. Mrs. Nalinsky looked pretty good. She did look awesome. Here we have the rear double, and this is where the muscle kind of changes. You know. Um, Mrs. Lenitsky is doing more of the open hand, which you might see more in physique, while Mrs. Barmel is doing the more of the clenched fist. And to me, both of them look pretty good. I mean, you know, mm. like I said, it's, this is a really close call, but I think I might give a slight edge to Mrs. Lenitsky. I think I give it to, you know, her. I mean, just from the back for the quads, the glutes. How the, the muscle development looks. I mean, even though it's an open hand, um, uh, or we are double, it's you, know, you can see the quality of muscle. Here we have is the tricep, and if I give it to anyone, I have to give it to Mrs. 
um, Bromel. I think she, you know, we really see how that muscles pop it, how that, that line cuts. I mean, it's, she has a great, she has great development. I think she was amazing female bodybuilder. She just, you know, I, you know, it just, the, you know, I, like I said, I, I'm a fan of, um, of um, Debbie Vermeil. I think she's an amazing woman. Here we have your dominoes. And this is really close. Um, you know, the, uh, 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 I'm telling you, uh, you know, I'm not going to say a tie because I know y'all hate ties. And this is when you really have to really flip a coin on. But if I go for over the better aesthetics, uh, better looks, I think I go with Mrs. Bromel. If I'm wrong, you can let me know in the comment section. Give your thoughts and your opinion. That's why I, I do this because I like to get y'all guys your feedback. So, you know, I appreciate it. Here we have a nice bicep pose. And if I have to give anybody, uh, this is really close, honestly. Both ladies are amazing. Great condition. Uh, I think I give it, maybe I be maybe I feel like I'm a little bit prejudiced, but I might give this one here to Mrs. Bromel. I think I give it to Mrs. Bromel. Yeah. Um, here we have a nice glue shot. And definition, lines, aspiration. Um, more of the uh, aesthetics that judges are looking towards when they when you when you judge a competitor. Um, uh, I have to give it here to Mrs. Leninsky. I think Debbie has a great set of glutes. No, and I, I'm talking about Debbie L. I should say, uh, but Debbie B. You know, she's she's pretty good. I mean, I think I always liked her. I was a big fan of her, as like I said. But both of you ladies, like I said, I'm a fan of them. They were some most amazing women, as you know. Um, you know, Debbie Bromel, she retired. Around about 2012. And she got remarried and became Debbie Bromel Washington. She was married before. That's how they got named Bromel. That was from her first husband. And, you know, with um, Debbie um, Leninsky, she eventually retired. Her last competition was 2015. And that was the, back then we had the debut of the Rising Phoenix. It was at the Texas Pro. And, you know, she has been a, a you know, a multiple time Olympic competitor. She has come and made the top five quite a few times. Even, you know, at the Rising Phoenix, she took second. But um, Debbie Vermeil, she only went to one Olympia during her career, and I thought she'd do some more. You know, I don't know. As a fan, I think you know, there's some people I see like, hey, I thought she would be, you know, be doing more shows, doing better. But I don't know what the judges are looking for. I mean, Debbie had a great look to her, very exotic, very you know, uh, appealing, and you know, Debbie Vermeil, I mean, and also Debbie Nitsky, she had a great look to her. I think probably more, you know, people you know gravitate to the blonde and everything like that. But like I said, both these ladies are amazing women. I, I, um, you know, with Debbie Bromel, she's not too much on social media. I checked her IG. Hadn't been too much activity lately, but she is very into faith and religion. You know, she still also, she trains other people and she promotes good health. And the same with Debbie um, Nalinsky. She's, you know, she hadn't competed, you know, for a long time. She's still, she's still as active as a, in fitness often trains other people too. You know, the thing is, we get, you know, it's just that about the sport, it's a transition. You know, when you get out of it, you still just don't leave it. You just, you know, find a way you're still in the sport. You're a trainer, you're a nutritionist. You're just so many things you can do. But um, like I said, these are two amazing women who had great looks to them, style, or just a, a beauty about them that people don't see in women's bodybuilding, but it's there. You know, it's there. Because the fact is, you got to look past the, your ideology, your ideology, sorry, excuse me, your your ideology of what women should be. Women can be everything you, whatever they want to a certain limit, to a certain extent. But these ladies are athletes. They're women. They are, you know, people who have a passion for a sport that most people considered, you know, not too mainstream. But like I said, these are just amazing women, and they're legends. And I respect their commitment and passion for the sport of bodybuilding and i would love to have an opportunity to talk with them and get their thoughts on how the sport has changed since they competed but much respect to these ladies because who these are ladies who really have or who are really good examples of flex and sex appeal anyway this is my always george page aka the emperor from my bottom talk like don't like subscribe subscribe i'm out